All right, guys, I wanted to put this out real quick. It's uh, just kind of a short uh, tip on how to speed up the uh, logo render uh, in Blender. It's something I wish I'd have thought about it or stumbled across it uh, a little bit earlier. It definitely will save you a little bit of time if you uh, kind of like to uh, do a lot of uniforms. But usually the way I've done it is, you know, I'll open up, uh, in my case, uh, Paint Shop Pro and I'll load the template. Um, then I'll, you know, put my logo over top of it. I've already done it, but I'll layer my logos on there. And then I'll hit File. Well, hold on. First turn off that bottom layer. Then File, Save As. And then this right here, the logo.png, that's the one that the game, at uh, Blender, sorry, that's the one that Blender loads. So I would save it. And then when you go into Blender, um, that would be already, you know, when you load the uh, the helmet logo file, this would already be there because the game, uh, Blender, I keep calling it a game, Blender loads the logo.png automatically. And then you would hit render and then render image. And then uh, after I do that, I would go back to Paint Shop Pro and I would, uh, you know, edit, clear, turn back on my bottom layer, and then I'd do my next logo. But then I thought, I'd really rather just do, get all these ready, and then be done with Paint Shop Pro, then go into Blender, and then just work straight through rendering out in Blender. So what I did was I just kept making this. You know, I'd place my next set of logos, then I'd turn it off, and then I would save as, and then I'd just add a number to it. So... Uh, you know, logo one, logo, or I counted logo, the first one, uh, the default one is logo one, but then the next one I did two and three and four, all the way up to, I think this was a 24 team league, so all the way up to uh, 24, and there's actually a word there. But, so now I have all my logos ready for my league, so I can close down or just minimize. Paint Shop Pro and the thing about Blender is this window over here was what I used to UV unwrap this uh, this little helmet to place the logos on it properly you know and get them in both directions so they would line up right and then you know that created uh, the texture that you would use but you don't really have to mess with this again what you can do is you can kind of drag that out of the way if you want or you can leave it out it doesn't matter but at this point this window is kind of irrelevant I left it open just so you know you could see how it works and uh, I didn't want to really complicate things but if you go over here to this panel on the side you'll see this little red it almost looks like a beach ball click that and it'll open this up and if if nothing's open or uh, you know this uh, looks kind of like this make sure st click on that to open the surface and that is the actual material that's attached to the helmet that you're seeing over here and um, up here in this window it's just called material I didn't really change the name of it but um, so anyway if you expand that surface and then you look right here you'll see that name again logo.png well what you can do is you can go here to this folder click it and then go to wherever you've saved all these like here's all the ones I saved here and you can load um, let me load the flamingo one here and hit open now you'll see it's changed on the helmet so it's now applied now over here it's still showing the rabbit but that's this window you can ignore it what's showing here is what's going to render out so if you now go up here to render render image see it's rendering out the one you just loaded up so what you can do is you can let that render out and then when it's done and uh, okay now it's ready so then all you do is go to image save as and 
than wherever you normally save them to. I have one folder where I save all of them. I even keep the old ones that I do in case I ever want to go back and use them again. But then you just save this one to whatever you want to save it. In this case, you know, it would be like flamingos. Uh, .png. But then you're done, and then you know, get rid of that, and then you're back here again. And when you want to move on to your next one, you just click this little folder over here, and then load your next one. And now it's ready to go. And again, see, it didn't change over here, but that's irrelevant. Don't worry about that. The fact that it changed here is what's going to render. Because if I go ahead and hit render image, now you'll see the little blue wolf or husky, whichever one you want to call it, is now rendering out. And then when it's done, you can do the whole image, save as. And I usually name it for whatever kind of a team it is. You know, wolves, huskies, whatever, flamingos. But anyway, this little step here, if you'd rather just do all the logos in your paint program first, you know, and get them all ready. And then, you know, come on over to Blender and then just do these each one at a time. Then you can just keep loading them up here, render it, save it, then load another one, render it, save it. Uh, because the main thing is, as long as the image that you're loading um, stays the same size and layout as this one, um, it's gonna it's gonna fit and line up properly and render out properly and uh, so you won't have any trouble because here technically what you're doing is each time you do this you've replaced you know the original logo.png with the next one with the next one with the next one but they're all identical except for the logo that's actually on it but anyway hopefully that uh, that made sense and uh, is a little bit helpful it definitely made it move a lot faster this time because I wasn't jumping back and forth between uh, my paint program and Blender. But anyway, just to run through it quick, once you boot up Blender, you know, you can drag that over if you want or you can leave it like it is. It doesn't matter, but I get it out of the way because I like to look at it once I load them up, see how they're going to look. But uh, go over here, find the little beach ball, then look for surface expand it and then look for this right here um, and that folder click that folder and then wherever you've saved all this stuff to just load one at a time load it render it save it load it render it, save it and boom there you go hope that was helpful and uh, hope I explained it well any questions uh, just let me know thanks